Hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So, this is a part of the Quick Tip Quick Tips series on my channel, and today we're going to be looking at Local View. Now, I didn't find out about this recently, and I'm surprised um, it doesn't come up often in a lot of tutorials, because I see I see very, very large amount of instances where this, this tool is a really, really strong point of Blender and of 3D programs in general, and it's not often mentioned, which I found very odd. But we're going to dive right into it. So here I have a, uh, a scene set up um, right here in Blender, and this is just, um, we, we can take a quick look at it. Um, here it might take a little bit of loading time because my textures are pretty large, but this is basically I was working on some like Mirror's Edge theme stuff. If you know what that is, it's a pretty cool game. If you don't, you should check it out. Um, but yeah, I was just working on some theme stuff here, and uh, and I found out about this, and it's really helped me in this modeling. And I'm going to show you all. Um, and the reason why I have this scene chosen is while it's not really complex, at least not at the moment, it is complex enough for me to show you what exactly local view is. But so let's zoom in here. And so say um, I'm you know, working on more of this mesh right here, this, uh, the, the AC unit, I guess, that's on top of the building, and, um, and I'm trying to, you know, touch this, but, you know, it's not always easy to see, and I, I want to rotate from this exact angle, but I can't look at it from here, and now what you might say is, yeah, I could just, you know, move it to layer 5, and then go to layer 5 and edit it, and then move it back to layer 3, and then, you know, it'll be there again. Uh, or, you know, just keep them on different layers and have them editable like that. But there's actually an easier way to do this, and it keeps your scene, um, well, it kind of prevents you from organizing it, I guess, but it prevents you from spreading out over all your layers and using all your layers, so your layers are there for main scene material instead of just little parts that don't really matter that much. So, what we're going to do first is all you have to do is have the object you want selected that you can't really view from that angle, and you go to your number pad, and I think your num lock has to be on. Let me try without it. Oh, nope, okay, it works without the number lock on. But what I did right there was, all I do is um, on the number pad, regardless of whether your num lock is on or off, you just press the little backslash or divide symbol, and bam, you get this. Now, this is really cool. Um, this is called local view, and you'll see up here where it says user ortho, it says local, and if I tap back out of it, it won't say local anymore. Local view is just for individual objects. And local view is cool for several reasons. One, it gets all the other obstructions out of the way. I can edit it, but then when I go back into it, it will, um, it will, it will still be there with all the edited changes up, updated and everything. And that's you know really cool because it makes it easier for you to select certain faces that might normally, you know, have things in the way of them that you wouldn't really be able to see from a specific angle that you want to select from. Local view also is cool for another reason. If you, um, well, local view is stored independently depending on individual objects. And what I mean by that is, so let's say I, you know, rotate all the way 180 degrees from the previous view I was in. So now when I go back to local view, it still is, the entire view is still in whatever, you know, view I went into local view in. And then if I go back into local view, it doesn't save the, um, it doesn't save where you were. So that's something to keep in mind. But local view is really cool because you know, you can edit objects individually without moving them to layers and, you know, doing a bunch of hassle for yourself. And then you'll always return to the view you were in when you went into local view, which is really helpful for managing scenes and putting, you know, everything back to the way it was. Um, and just, you know, editing stuff without having tons of things in the way. And it's really helped me, and I hope it helps you all. All right. Thanks.